Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. We've been playing some Koga today, and this is one of the most confusing videos I've ever made, or I guess the most confusing prep I've ever had for a video, and I'll explain that once we get into it. By the time I'm recording this, the stream for 2.0 has just finished. The dev talk hasn't happened yet by the time I'm recording this video. It might have done by the time you see this. PTS for 2.0 should be up the day you see this, because it usually takes me a day from when I record it to actually goes out on the channel. And we will be doing some videos on 2.0 because oh my god they have changed so many things i haven't had a chance to read through all the patch notes i just watched the stream and they seem to be focusing a little bit more on polish which is genuinely what i think everybody wants to see in 2.0 paladins is making the game seem more refined and more professional and more polished because paladins has been pretty clunky for a while now so i'm very very excited and i'm very much looking forward to 2.0 i obviously don't know everything that's going to happen so i can't say if it's good or bad just yet but from what i was able to see it looks like they're going in the right direction just from my quick little look at it. I have got a gift from someone. I don't know if I called this out before. Fated Kosari has sent me uh, a large gift and I do appreciate that, but I'm actually not going to open it yet. I'm actually not going to open it yet though because I can only get boosters. So I'm going to wait until 2.0 and open it then. So if any of you guys send me stuff, I'll try and save it till 2.0 and then if I get a ton of them, maybe I'll dedicate a video just to opening stuff. We'll, we'll see. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. Today, we're doing Koga and the prep for this video was really, really strange. I've changed the loadouts, I think a decent amount since the last time I made a video on Koga. And we're going to be playing with Master of Arms. Now, this actually got nerfed a heavy amount at one point. Before this got nerfed, when it first came out, it was 100% ammo reduction when you actually hit a target, and I didn't even realize this triggered on shields. I don't know if I made a video on this. I can't remember if I ever covered it. I remember I talked about it when it got nerfed, but I don't think I've ever made a video dedicated to Master of Arms, although I might have done. But I was playing with this the other day, and even in its nerfed state with the loader I run with, it seems ridiculously strong to the point where it's competing with Adrenaline Junkie. I've started to see more people pick this up, but I didn't really understand why they nerfed it at the time because I didn't see really anybody play with it and I, I kind of realized that it's because the lower to middle skill ranges won't really see much benefit from this because you're not landing all your shots but the middle to like high and the super high this is obviously the one you're going to be going for because you're landing all your hits so that's what we're going to be playing with I'm just going to queue for everything we're going to go for master of arms I usually go for adrenaline junkie but I've lately actually just been switching over to solely using this because of how strong it is and it just made me realize why why didn't I do this sooner I think it's maybe because I wasn't used to Koga and I didn't have the right load out for it because I feel like you do have to have a kind of specific loadout for this to work in the best case scenario. I'm going to go ahead and activate a booster. We're down to about 75 or so now, so I've been playing a little bit more. We're doing Siege Frog Isle as the map, so I'll do what I normally do, and I'll just make videos on specific little things throughout the course of the PTS, and then when it goes into live, I'll cover some of the other ones I didn't get a chance to cover, because like I said, there is a hell of a lot in 2.0. Uh, what are they saying in the lobby? I just gave up XX Animated. I played with him before. I remember the name. It wasn't that long ago. I guess he's saying he's giving up because I'm on his team? Maybe? I don't know. Team-wise, we're going to have a Drogos, a Grok, a Damba, and a Khan. So we have, I'm guessing Grok's going to go damage. So double damage, healer Damba, me as a flank Koga, and a Khan on their side. They have a Strix, they have a Furia, they have an Andro, they have a Khan, and a Lian. Okay, I guess this is pretty even. Yeah, double damage, flank, tank, healer. Same sort of thing. Let's go Master of Arms, and then this is a loadout. Wanted max level, wins embrace max level, tenacious, raw talent, and trigger happy. As far as I know, those are the same base cards as I had in the last one. They're just leveled a little bit differently. I'm not going to get Wrecker just for Khan, so I guess we'll go ahead and grab some Quarter Eyes. I don't really know how I'm going to deal with this Strix. Seems like he's going for Ambush, which is a bit of a strange choice, although maybe maybe it isn't because he's going to be spending a lot of time in his invis because I'm going to be trying my best to chase him down. But if you have anything specific you want to see me cover in 2.0, please do let me know in the comments and by dropping a like on this video, it will show me that you want to see me do stuff in 2.0. Obviously, I'll try my best to get to what I can in the PTS before it goes into live, but if there is anything you want to see like pushed ahead of other stuff, yeah, just let me know in the comments. Do I want to run left or middle or where do I want to go? Okay, Andro's there, Khan is there. Let's not run around, let's focus this Khan. All right, me and Grog both died at the start there. That shot from Strix deals so much damage to me. God damn. The thing is, if we even if we're hitting a shield with this, we actually don't use ammo, so that's kind of cool. I don't really know what my plan of attack should be, because that Strix is going to completely ruin my health bar if he lands a shot on me. Maybe we can survive here. I don't really know. I do feel kind of bad for our Drogos because he's not really able to spend any time in the air because of the Andro and the Strix and the Lian. He's basically spending his entire life on the ground. Let's just empty our entire mag that feels like it lasts forever. Oh my god. I'm not able to live there. Lian ulted, which was a bit of a strange play. I think she killed somebody though. Did she kill Drogos? I think she killed Drogos with her. I do recognize a couple names on both sides here, so I don't know if there are any like pro players or anything because I'm terrible at remembering names, but there's definitely some that I've played with before. There's some good 
of damage on him before I inevitably have to jump back into spawn so I don't die. That's a flare from Strix, which in 2.0 will actually not be able to reveal me if he's gone for an authorized use, which he actually has not here, so that's, that doesn't really apply. But there we go. I managed to actually stay on the map because Khan messed up. I have two bullets left there, and I was able to actually empty like another 60 on top of that. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He was about to get healed by the Furia, but he's gone. Hello, Strix. Let's mow him down. Double kill. Cheeky spray. Can we get a triple kill? I believe we can. Can we get a quadra? Oh, indeed we can. Quadra, can I get a penta maybe? Oh, Andro, you suck. Andro, you suck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. If that reversal didn't hit me, that might have counted as a penta kill because the quadra kill stuff just popped up on the screen. So that might have counted. I'll call it a quadra because we did get a quadra, but a nearly penta. We got a quadra, nearly penta. I I'm fine with that. To be honest, I'm not really bothered that I died there. It's just a little bit annoying that his reversal saved his ass because if that didn't hit me, he would not have lived there. We would have mowed him down because he was getting wrecked. God, Strix. Go suck a fat one. I haven't gone against a Strix with this legendary card in ages, but that is not fun. Andra, what are you doing, boy? Get out of here. Come on. This is way more fun to play with, by the way, than the one that actually regens your meter because this way your meter's steady. It goes up at the same rate no matter what you're doing, which is really, really cool. And then you just have to worry about actually landing your shots. It's it's really, really easy to focus with this in comparison to the other legendary card. That's kind of why I like it and why I've adopted it. Defense successful. Nice. I'm pretty happy that we were able to defend that. The start of that game was really rough. And there goes uh, Drogo's dead to a con. I just don't understand why I didn't play this before because this literally used to be twice as strong. It used to give you 100% ammo reduction. And now with 50% ammo reduction, it still kind of feels like I have infinite ammo. So I, I really don't know what it was like to be playing with this when it had 100% because I was playing with Adrenaline Junkie instead just to get used to Kogren because I felt it was easier. This one definitely isn't as easy to play as the one that regens your meter because then you have less ability to actually get away with your right click and stuff but you do have a much better ability to just output shots for days if you were really really good you also wouldn't need to run a loadout like i'm running it you wouldn't need the ammo regen on your f as much i need it because i'm still not the best with coca i'm just like semi okay that's kind of what i describe myself as let's try and play the objective but also avoid the hell out of that strix we're just genning our ammo oh my god that strix is by far the most annoying thing right now in this game for me he missed his shot so we got a kill boys there we go nice one if that strix misses his second shot then we basically have it in the bag especially if no one else is on us my tier 2 court is actually going to be enough to secure us that kill looks like fury is dead here too doesn't really matter if i reload or not double kill nice so we've got like two doubles two or three doubles so far this match and also a quadra nearly a penta let's just hold left click there to try and dismount them there's a double although i technically didn't get that one strix is here somewhere i'm gonna hit e don't even know where anybody is but you know what we'll we'll kill someone there we go we killed khan strix is here on no health as well nice grox actually doing a pretty damn good job khan is pushing up super aggressive here which works out for me andro i'm not about to die again to that reversal i really should check legendary cards at the start of games more often because i would have a lot less deaths i'd have a lot less deaths if i actually did that originally he's actually not really gonna be able to kill me there is he no because i was jumping around like a bit of a maniac there's a free kill on you oh my aim messed me up there drash oh drash yes i have a drash let's kill him there we go fury is gone oh strix and Leon. okay both of them you can just chill in spawn for a sec while we push this objective i just clipped through that wall a little bit there this game is hectic as hell let's just hold left click just hold left click and spam all of that good shit Oh god, I'm dead to that Leon. That Leon's ult was really delayed there. It seems like her thing actually flew out of her end of her rifle really, really late. If you look at this, it looks like I was around that corner, but I guess not. When they got that first push and did so well, I genuinely thought we were a little bit screwed, but then everybody kind of clicked together kind of well, and now it's 2-1, and we're actually trying to get this push. I really wish our Khan wasn't so, uh, I guess, pushy would be the word, because he's playing really, really aggressively. It's just dash around here. He's just playing really, really forward, which can be useful, but a lot of the time so far this game has actually got him killed which is a shame. There goes the Strix. Thank you, Drogos, for securing the bag. Oh, I'm low. Maldam is trying his best to get heals on me, but I've got really low meter. It is actually kind of nice having the meter generate really, really regularly, though. You don't really have to worry about filling it up. It just generates at a pretty constant rate, at 100% a constant rate. What am I talking about? Oh, I was trying to get a little peek and get one hit on that Leon to get the kill. He jumped in the way and actually killed me there, which was kind of lucky, although I do think we're going to get the push. There we go. Nice. Doesn't matter that I died. What I was trying to explain during that whole mess there is that it is a downside, obviously, that you don't generate meter from dealing damage with your guns but at the same time it's a bit of a benefit because it's generating at a really constant rate so you know roughly how long it takes to generate each little block but also you got you a little bit better even when you're on empty meter because you don't have to rely on your f for ammo regen you just have ammo regen from actually landing shots and if you pick up record with this by the way you completely shred through them you shred through shields normally with this legendary card let alone the fact that you can combo with a record and just completely go through people although i've gone for max tier court for obvious reasons in this game let's get a cheeky flank on this trick i think 
Yugi's here somewhere. That's the Lian and the Fury. A bit of a strange time to ult, but okay. There's a kill. Oh, that dash in was awkward, but I somehow managed to survive. Freaking Strix is here somewhere. Nice one. All right, cool. Four of them are dead and Andro's alive. That play has happened like three times so far this match. I messed up a little bit there and I did panic play when that Lian ulted because I wasn't really ready for it. But luckily, I managed to hit my right click at the right time to be able to dodge it. I finally got some Haven now because I really should have got that sooner. To be honest, I shouldn't have got killed to heal. I should have got Haven. That was a bit of a mistake. It would have helped me with the Strix. Lian is seemingly behind here. Let's go ahead and get some damage on I think she's just here. Well, she's under. Where is that Lian gone? I thought she was just there, but I guess she died. Oh yeah, Grok killed her. Okay, never mind. We finished off the enemy that was just there. I think it was the Strix. I'm not really sure, but there's game. There's my boy Grok emailing on the point. He said the game was going to be over at the start of that match, but I don't know what he was talking about because we came through with a 4-1 win. I have top play, which is kind of cool. It's probably going to be the failed pentakill. I'm going to call it a failed pentakill because I killed Khan. So we killed that Khan as he was flying off the map. We finish off Strix. This is really where the tables kind of turned. We kill the Furia and then we kill the Leanne. That was a double spray. Oh my god, that's the first time I've done that in ages. <laughs> I don't mean that as BM by the way, I always compliment other people when they spray in the top play because I think it's kind of funny. I don't personally classify it as BM, but clearly some people do. He said amazing skill. Um, Just shoot. GG. Well played. Thanks for that. Well, someone's uh, a little bit salty. I don't ever mean the spray as like a BM thing, though. It's kind of just a meme. Of people who have seen my stuff spray in the top play, I usually compliment them. The amount of times I go against people who watch the channel and get a top play and then spray in it is actually probably higher than the amount of times I get top play and spray myself. Yeah, it's just fun to do. I hope people don't take that the wrong way because I don't mean it's like haha I'm better than you guys nah it's silly stats wise though we don't actually have top damage looks like Leanne beat us out there but only by about 11k I did pretty decent 17 10 10 actually seems like it's the best stat there indeed it is 17 10 10 is probably the best one that Drogo's had a really tough time I can't give him crap for stats there he was against a Leanne and Andrew and a Strix all people that counted the crap out of him so even though he had not that great damage I can't give him crap for it he, he was in a really tough situation that I play Drogo's on this map against teams like that it sucks Grok did pretty good props to him. He was playing damage Grok. I'm 90% sure. Yeah, he did pretty decent. Props to him. Khan did alright, although he was a little bit overly aggressive, but it ended up working out in the end. And Adama did pretty damn good on heals there. Furia was insulted in the chat there. Yeah, Fury was being BM'd a little bit by insane PZR, which is their Khan, but she had 64k heals, which in my opinion isn't really that bad. She did miss a lot of her Qs though, but Khan also wasn't really paying that much attention, it seemed like there. The Leon had top play, which again, is just because she has auto aiming abilities, but she also did play pretty decently. Strix did kind of well. Bit of a weird legendary card choice. He probably would have actually done a bit better with unauthorized use there, but it did actually mess up the start of that game when he was dealing that much damage with one shot. Their Andro, I'd say, is actually the reason they probably lost that game. He went 4-9 with 33k, which actually is pretty damn bad. And their Strix did pretty decent as well. The only people I could say did like a little bit less than average was the Khan and the Andro. Everybody else there seemed to do fine. So there, there we go. I don't really know what else to say. I'm just a little bit confused as to why I didn't start playing with this sooner. I now have a preference for Master of Arms over a Adrenaline Junkie. I kind of feel like it's in a good place now, but oh my god, before it must have been ridiculous. I didn't really play with it before, so I can't really say, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below. This is now my new fave over Adrenaline Junkie. I'd love to hear which one you prefer out of Adrenaline Junkie and Master of Arms, and if you have a lot of experience with it before it got nerfed, I'd love to hear how that went for you as well. Let me know what you want to see me do next on 2.0. It's going to be a very long PTS cycle, though. They did say that much, but thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you all very, very soon, and as always... Stay frosty.